Welcome back to Get to Know, where you get to know the company, the business, and the people behind the business. Today, we have a very special guest on our show. Not only is she an education center manager here in Melbourne, she is also a auto sales master, meaning that she has a lot of business experience in Atomy. She's been here for the last 20 years in Australia, started the business in 2016. Today, we have a very special guest, Deborah Kim. Ooh. Welcome everyone onto the show. <laughs> Hello, everyone. You started the business in 2016. Yes. The Atomy Oceania branch started mm -hmm. in 2018. That's true. So how did you get started in the Atomy business? At that time, I joined uh, Atomy Korea and then uh, bring the business in Australia. So yeah, I started using the products uh, since 2016. I didn't do much about that, but I enjoyed the products first. Was it difficult to do the business without the Atomy branch? being opened in that country, so Australia? At that time, uh, we have uh, Korean sponsors, and mm -hmm. then they came all the way to Australia, and they are doing quite a good job for our members. And <laughs> um, yeah, and also, uh, I enjoyed it, <laughs> anything. What did you enjoy? Uh, products. The products. Yeah. So I didn't do much about business. Um, just enjoying and then introduce to my friends because um, this product is quite a good product to uh, introduce to the people. So yeah, finally they love it and then I thinking about the start the business. Which one did you start with? First product I tried in the house, mm -hmm. uh, the house meeting, uh, Six System. So the, the predecessor to the fame. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and uh, evening set. Was it different from what you were using before? Yeah, definitely different. Uh, I had uh, dry skin before, mm. but after using uh, four evening set and then uh, all cleansing, I cleansed my skin and then uh, applied the six system, it was really fantastic uh, feeling. So I couldn't uh, feel like my skin is still dry. Uh, and it uh, lasts long until uh, night time. Was it a problem, the dry skin? Mm, small issue, <laughs> but still it's annoying. It feel like dry uh, my skin at uh, night time. So I have to apply another uh, skincare, uh, something like that. So in the beginning, mm -hmm. which products did you recommend the most? When I start to business, I start with the uh, skincare products, especially Shixi skincare and four evening care. What did you do before you met Atomy? Uh, I was a registered nurse in Korea mm. and I came to Australia 20 years ago to study further nursing. Mm. I couldn't study for 17 years because I was busy with children. Yeah, of course. Uh, while I'm studying in Monash, I met Atomy. Oh. I gave up. In university? Yeah, in university. So I gave up my study. Okay. And I, <laughs> I start to do business, the okay. atomic business. I, I saw the atomic business very clearly. So this one is the one I really doing. I really have to do, uh, and I can be successful with the atomy. What did you see in the beginning then? My dream was um, traveling a lot mm. in any country and uh, without any financial difficulty. So I want to travel a lot, but uh, with atomy. Uh, slowly uh, fill my dream. So I travel uh, many countries uh, with Atomy. Mm. That's what I like. You've been to Indonesia, you've been to Korea multiple times. Yeah. What was the shift between mm -hmm. a, a nurse, yeah. so in the healthcare business, mm -hmm. and shifting that to a marketing business? Mm -hmm. Like what was the difference? It's totally different mm -hmm. from the healthcare provider to marketing. I never done any marketing business and I ne uh, never get proper job <laughs> before. Even I never have uh, experience before, I really willing to learn about this business. I never thinking about business before, but now <laughs> with, uh, because of the atomy, I'm enjoying it and I'm still learning about marketing. So what's the difference between working for a company and working for a yourself? Yeah, working for the company is easy. So I just go and work without thinking and then come back and they stay still. <laughs> Give the money. But as a owner of the business, you have to think a lot. 
you have to manage the time, organize the program. Also, you need to deal with the people and also you need to lots of uh, face the uh, problems. You have to have ability to solve the problems too. How did you deal with people not wanting, like rejecting the products, rejecting the business? I just move on <laughs> move to on? other people. <laughs> is there any secret tips? Then I explain about company. Mm. The product is where it come from. What is the uh, where is the uh, manufacturer? Uh, which company they produce this uh, beautiful products? Then many people convinced. <laughs> like that. Yeah. So, you know, Colma is a big company. They produce beautiful uh, skincare set. Mm -hmm. And also the technology, I explained them. And then, yeah, most of them. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you explain with technology. Oh, of course. There's a full uh, uh, beautiful technology in there. So I just uh, briefly uh, explain about the full technology. And then, yeah, everyone love it. Love to try. That's the first time I've actually heard someone explain trying to get members by explaining the technologies because not many people understand. Wow, these, these days uh, people are very, very smart. They need to know uh, what is ingredients. They want to know uh, what is the technology, why we have to apply this skincare on our face. So yeah, I explain. My background is uh, nursing, so I can explain uh, more than other people, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, they uh, enjoy it. So you keep on talking about the sixth system, mm. but now that's gone. Yeah. <laughs> we have the fame. Right. But they, I heard mm. that there's another product that you use. Yeah, nowadays. Absolute Set, yes. Absolute? <laughs> yeah. When Absolute Set arrived in Australia, I just bought and uh, start to uh, apply my face. I love it. And then the smells and then I can see my skin is getting uh, lifting and uh, more uh, my wrinkles and getting <laughs> less and less. Mm. And then uh, one day my daughter uh, came to Melbourne. Uh, she studied in New South Wales. And then I met her in the airport. She said to me, Mom, have you done Botox? Really? Uh, yeah, she, she To uh, you? Yeah, to, to your me. face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say, why? And then, mom, I study about this kind of things, but this, is, uh, uh, this will ruin your face. And I said, oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> and then she said, but how come your face is so younger than before? So, yeah, because of atomy. <laughs> because of atomy, absolute. Yeah, absolute, absolute to say. Well, fantastic. <laughs> uh, we're just going to go into a quick break, and I'll see you right after. If you moving forward and persistently going forward, then you will be successful in this business. One day you will be on the top and number one. So welcome back to GTK. I hope you liked that break session. When is the most difficult time mm. when doing this business? I most of the time I enjoy uh, doing atomic business, but hard part uh, is my uh, downline. Uh, they thinking about this business not working, and they give up and they complain about this business <laughs> or products. 
Uh, then that is the most hard part, actually. What do you do about it? Uh, most of the time, I listen why they have complained about this. Uh, I want to find out why they want they telling about this kind of uh, problems. I think they like it. They like to uh, what I listening their problem. Who do you believe can do the anime business? In my opinion, for everyone, even me, I never done uh, network marketing business. I never done business even, and I never get proper job <laughs> before. <Right? laughs> but. I can become successful. Uh, in Atomy, if you are auto sales master, you are already successful. That means I'm already a successful person, right? Mm. So it, this business is for everyone. For the new members who are watching this show, mm. any tips? Yeah, I want to tell them uh, Atomy business, even I can do this business. If you are not give up, if you moving forward and persistently going forward, then you will be successful in this business. One day you will be on the top and number one in this business. But is there a secret to doing the business? If you have good heart, then yeah, this business is for you. I mm. think respect people, downline and upline, uh, you need to respect. That is the uh, most important. Respect means you have to see again the person. So, do you have any big visions for your center? I have a big land. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to make a nice and comfy and beautiful uh, education center. So, even they don't want, uh, they don't need to come to learn. They want to come for a uh, relaxed time in the center. Of course, you only came to Australia 20 years ago. But has it been difficult to do the business with the limited kind of language barrier? Uh, speaking English is most hard part for me. Yeah, that is the hard part, <laughs> most hard part. The most, yeah. Going back to question number five, <laughs> yeah. the most difficult yeah. one is the English. Yeah, nothing else. Uh, English is the most hard part. <laughs> but there's a lot of other speakers yes. out there, mm -hmm. even in Australia, who do not speak English as a first language. Thankfully, I really appreciate other uh, downline and upline. They understanding. Uh, me like uh, who is second lang uh, English is a second language and we have a uh, English barrier. They try to understand, still respect me as a leader. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Actually, the business uh, with at uh, Atomy business is not that what how many how much you have ability, even language ability or other ability. They are not looking at it. Your personality and your attitude is the most. Uh, important in this business. Even I feel like uh, this is a hard part, but uh, doing this business is not, not that big deal. But even though you have difficulties speaking, mm. you still went up on stage. Yeah, actually, I, uh, that is my challenge. Mm. Uh, without uh, challenge, you cannot grow. Actually, in my personality, I want to hide. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do it, but without any difficulty or challenge, I don't think I can grow. Uh, mostly, I, I grab the opportunity and tends to grow. Mm. We're very grateful to have a, you know, education center manager mm -hmm. and, you know, a business member mm -hmm. and a diamond master such as you, Master Deborah, who's able to kind of overcome these challenges mm -hmm. for the sake of other people. As you say, if you do not give up, you will eventually succeed. And I think you are a testament mm -hmm. to that idea. So thank you, Master Deborah, for coming onto the show. Hopefully our members has been able to learn uh, more about how to do the business. So not only can you come from a background mm -hmm. of not doing any marketing and still become an older sales master and an education center manager with the right attitude mm -hmm. and the right kind of personality, mm -hmm. you can always kind of succeed in anime business. Yes, I so, believe so. Thank you everyone for watching us on YouTube. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.